Hi there. So welcome back to this fifth module on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And in this module, we are going to look at storage or everything to do with storage. We are going to look at different type of storage that are available in OCI. That's object storage, block storage service, file storage service, and also the data transfer or how or what options you have to transfer the big or large volume of data from your on-premise onto the Oracle public cloud. So we are going to look, we begin this module with storage options and we'll look at the different or high level overview of different storage option. One of them is local NVMe. Then we look at block storage, object storage and file storage service. Then we are going to go deep into this block storage service and within block storage service, we are going to look at volumes. And as I said in the previous module, there are two type of volumes, block volume and boot volume. Then we look at what are the different type of volume or different configuration or security you can put volume and attachments related to the volume. We'll look at how to create and use boot volume and how to or what are the components in the block volume. Then we look at characteristics or properties of the block volume, what all operations you can you can perform on block volume and what kind of performance you get. We'll also look at common operations on block volume. That is how do you create it, a block volume. How do you attach this block volume onto a computer or a compute instance? And how do you manage this block volume? We're also going to log into the console and do all these operations. Then whatever block volume you have created, how do you back up and restore it? Or how do you clone this volume? So this is all about block storage. So once we have done the block storage, then we move on to the next storage type, which is object storage. So we look at overview of object storage and within what are type of resources or what kind of a resources available in object storage, that is object, bucket, namespace, and other things associated with object storage resources. Then within object storage, there are two type of two, two tiers standard, which is also called as hot object storage and the archive storage, which is a cold storage. And we'll compare what these two are and in which scenario to use which type of object storage. Then how do you create and manage the object storage security on that? And how do you upload a very big file or very big data onto or a one single file or very big single file by breaking down into or a feature within object storage called as multi-part upload. We'll look into that. And then we are going to look at pre-authenticated request. Uh, that is basically if you have a object storage which is protected, how do you give someone an access without them being or having to have a user ID? And that access is given for a limited time. So what that everything around pre-authenticated request. Then we are going to look at file storage service. And so this is third. So, so first we begin with the block. Then we look at the object. And then now we go into file storage service. So we'll look at overview, common use cases, when to use file storage service. And then how do you create and use this file storage service with things like in Oracle eBusiness Suite or any business application you deploy in OCI. After that, we are going to wrap up this module with data transfer service, which means how do you transfer a big or large data set from an on-premise onto cloud? And we are going to look at two options, which is appliance and disk. Then finally, we'll look at the location or these different services or within that storage service, these different options, where do they reside? And what is the scope of that? The scope we did it in past for all the other services or other OCI services as well. So just to do a quick recap, we are going to look at or we'll begin with storage options. We we'll look at three different types. That is block storage, object storage and file storage service. We'll also look at the data transfer service, which is how to transfer the data from on premise to cloud. So let's begin with overview of storage service in OCI. So from a storage option point of view, you have first option, which is local NVMe solid state disk. So these are highly performant, locally attached NVMe disks, which are available for two different type of shapes. 
So you remember in the previous module, we looked at shapes and one of the shape was the dense IO. So in dense IO, you have two different type of options. You have a virtual machine or bare metal instances of shape dense IO. So in dense IO, you get a local NVMe, you get up to 51 terabyte of local NVMe attached to this dense IO type of shape. It allows you the millions of IOPS and you get a very low latency, which is under 10 to $100 microsecond latency. So this is the best performance, but also the most expensive disk or storage option that's available only in shape dense IO. Then you have a block volume, which is based again, based on look NVMe SSD or solid state only, but this solid state is not attached or this NVMe is not attached locally to the compute. It's sep deployed remotely and connected uh, with the instance and how that connection happens. We are going to look at in the subsequent lesson. So you get a block volume which is based on NVMe again, but it's remote in kind of a SAN storage area network as you see in on-premise. Again, it's very aggressive. So from a price, it's a price and performance. It's slightly less compared to the local NVMe, but it's the next highest performance and the next most expensive storage option. You per instance or per volume, you have 32 terabytes and then you can, or you can configure 32 volumes per compute. Now you have, you can attach up to, two, up to 32 volume per instance. That way you get up to one petabyte of compute instance. You can attach per, uh, for each or so you can attach up to one petabyte, uh, per compute block volume. So in one, instance, you can attach up to one petabyte of block storage service or block storage. You again get a high IOPS in the range of 60 IOPS per gigabit and the latency is under milliseconds on block volume. Once you have the block volume, the third option is object storage. So object storage is you get a unlimited scalability in terms of you have this is this storage is available both for structured and unstructured data. Now within object storage, you get two type of tiers, which is a hot or standard um, storage option or object storage. And then second you get is a cold or for archiving purpose. So this is, let's suppose you have a extra data, which you want for backup and recovery or for other purposes, you're going to put it on object storage. So the compute will be attached or the your machine will be attached with a block volume. And then if you need anything for backup purpose or for more data, you move it into the object storage. Then you have a storage gateway. So this is basically the way to connect onto the storage option. So these are a, this object storage will be, this is the entry point for connecting to the object storage using an NFS version for. So this is a storage gateway, basically the way to connect to this storage options. Then you have a file storage service, which is nothing but a kind of a shared file system, which can be attached to the multiple instances or multiple compute. Imagine that you have a shared file system. If you're coming from an Oracle eBusiness suite or any other application that needs a shared file system. So you, you attach that file system using NFS. Now, again, in subsequent lessons, we are going to go deep into these topics where we look at how do you create this file storage service? How do you attach it to, or how do you mount using an NFS service? What ex like exactly is a NFS, which is high level network file system. So how do you connect your compute or mount a NFS file storage service onto a compute instance? And then, Finally is the data transfer service, which is the mechanism to transfer data from your on-premise onto the cloud. We are going to look at two options within this data transfer service. So this is a high level storage option you get, which is just to do a quick recap. You have a local NVMe solid state disk attached locally onto a dense IO type shape 
for both virtual machine as well as bare metal. So this is the best performance. Um, however, Oracle doesn't provide you the redundancy and we'll cover that in subsequent lessons. Then you have a block volume. This is a network attached or network storage or storage attached network send kind of a performance based on NVMe. It's slightly cheaper than the local NVMe, uh, but this block volume you attach onto the compute instance. Then you have object storage for your structured unstructured data. Then you have the storage gateway to the entry point on or the communication channel for this object storage as a NFS4. Then you have a shared file system or file storage or file storage service, which is a shared file system. So for example, you have a staging site or you want multiple same mount to be accessible to multiple instances, uh, then we'll use file storage service. And then finally is data storage service. Now in terms of op options, the higher you go, so local NVMe, you get the low, lowest latency and block volume is less compared to from a latency point of view, but higher than file storage service or object storage service. From a durati durability point of view or the data storage point of view, you get, as you go down, you get a highest durability. The latency improves as you go from a bottom to up. So local NVMe is the best performance, but also expensive. Similarly, the price also goes from uh, as you go down, the price reduces. Now we are going to look at all these in subsequent lessons, as I said. So we'll begin with block volume, then we'll go into the object storage, then we'll go into a file service and then data transfer service. So head on to the next lesson where we will look at a block volume, where we will look at what exactly is block storage means, what a volume means. Within volume, volume, there are two type of volumes, block volume and boot volume. How do you attach those to a compute instance and then what are these attachment options, what is chaps and more in detail about these volumes or the block storage. So I'll see you in next lesson where we look at the OCI block storage. So head on to the next lesson.